I have a giant haul of yarn from Hobie. Let's see what's in the bag. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about this. I have never worked with Hobie yarn before, and so I went off to their website and ordered a bunch of stuff for new designs. Let's see what's inside. Oh, <laughs> my packing slip. Oh, I'm so excited already. So I ordered black yarn because I have an idea for, whoops, for a black top and I don't have any straight black in stock. I saw this on their website and immediately was like, this is the perfect black. Let me move this back. So this is their unicorn solid and it's 75% merino wool, 25% polyamide, which is going to behave like a nylon. And it is very good quality merino wool. You know I love merino and wool in general. This is soft and springy. I ended up getting three hanks of this yarn because I think two will be enough, but you want room to be able to swatch and have leftovers. So I got three hanks just to be safe to make sure I got them all in the dye lot, in the same dye lot. If I'm not mistaken, this yarn is hand dyed yarn the unicorn like variegated and speckle line is mostly out of stock when I was on the website but this black is gorgeous and solid and I'm very excited it is uh, 100 grams 400 meters or 437 yards of fingering weight wool this yarn is designed in Denmark and made with love in Turkey um, and you can get this from Hobie's website I'll link everything down below um, and it has an Ucotex rating of 100. So I'm very excited for these. I've got a summer top in mind and I think they're just going to be perfect for that. So let's see what else is in the bag. All right next up is the Easy Care Merino Classic. So you know I went for the wools when I went through their website. They have a great variety of acrylic and wool yarns and a ton of blends but I love me some wool especially for crochet because it tends to be a little denser than knit and could really use the fabric characteristics of some wool in there. So I got three balls of this because I owe David's dad a hat. Back when he was visiting us a couple months ago, he saw the birdfoot hat that I designed for David and he was like, I would like some of that. I, in the exact same color, which I used Mace of Skein Spade DK and she is currently not dying the winter pine colorway. So instead of being able to get my hands on that, I saw this color, which isn't quite the same. It doesn't have the beautiful hand dyed effect. It cannot replace her yarn, but it is a close alternative. Uh, looking at it, it said it was DK weight. Let's check the label. Yep, this is uh, Easy Care Merino Classic from Mayflower, or this is May. okay, wait, Mayflower, Mayflower DK, 100% wool, Easy Care Merino Classic, and this is the color 289, um, and of course they sent me all the same dye lot, so it will all work well into a hat. The, the hat pattern I designed scales up to adult uh, 2XL, which is actually David's dad's head size, and I think I'm going to need all three of these, 150 grams of yarn, to get that out. Um, this is looking a little plumper than you normally get for DK, so it might be a little bit of a denser fabric when I go to knit it with the same needle size, but it should work up and it is nice and soft and I think he will love it overall. So I'm very excited to get to working with this yarn too and the color, I love the color so much, it's that dark winter green. Uh, I think he's gonna love it. Okay, what else is in the bag? Another merino yarn. You know, I can't help myself. This is Bumbo Soft Merino 100% ULD. What does that mean? Stumped. I don't know how to pronounce it, but ULD, ULD, is Danish for wool. <laughs> that makes sense. Hobie's based in Copenhagen, Denmark, as far as I could tell off of their website. So, 100% wool, and this is the Soft Merino. I got two balls of this to make Annie a hat. 
Now, I live in the United States in the Pacific Northwest, specifically Washington State, and it's not quite full summer here yet, and it can be cold and breezy in the mornings when we go to the bus stop because we're still um, in school for a, next, for a couple more weeks. And the breeze on my little daughter's head has been a little too much and she needs a hat. So I got her this nice neutral colored gray and I do love the heathered effect that this yarn gives off and I think it, it's going to be really cute basically with anything that she wears. So I've got some of this wool for her. It is reminiscent of the Easy Care Mayflower wool uh, so that's nice. I think, I, I don't know for sure, but I think this soft merino is a little bit thicker, a little bit of a heavier weight. It, the ball band says this is 50 grams and 120 meters made in Italy. So another DK weight. I do love a good DK weight yarn. And then this one is exciting, is it not? Ugh! I can't resist these big whirls, right? So this is their Cotton Kings Twirls. They've got a little easy start tag on it, which is super nice. So you don't have to find the end and it's very well tucked away. So it's not going to tangle. This is 100% cotton and it's 200 grams, 800 meters, which is about 874 yards. And it is fingering weight and it is one of those yarns that is made up of four strands that are held together that are not plied so you know that is something to keep in mind when you're working with it this is made in India for Cotton Kings Denmark this one I have plans for a shawl design that I think is gonna be really lovely and I'm always drawn to the blues and there's a little bit of purple in there uh, the hand is really soft. It feels like a good quality cotton, so I'm excited to see how this works up and washes, which is what's important. Then the reason that this bag is so freaking huge, I bought a bag full of this stuff. This is cotton merino, so let's get one out. Oh, I love the color so much. Look at that color. It's like very denim. Uh, which is a super wearable color for me at least. So this is their this is Mayflower's Cotton Merino Classic. And I got enough of this to make a summer tea. Yes. It needs to happen. Uh, so what is this? Cotton Merino is a 50% wool, 50% cotton. So what I love about this is cotton can be a little bit heavy and water absorbent while wool is light and water resistant. So it's a good halfway point so that you're not too heavy and absorbing water. Uh, the wool just helps lift some of that weight and absorption out of the, the, co the cotton content. So I'm really excited to try this out for a tee. It's going to be lighter and airier than a 100% cotton top. Uh, and I just think it's going to be lovely overall. It is nice and soft. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to have any pilling issues. The cotton's going to help cut that away from the wool. Uh, and it's what gives it such a lovely color. I am super excited to work with this. I believe this is another DK weight. Let me check it out here. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than the other ones. It's recommending 19 stitches per 10 centimeters or 4 inches and 24 rows per uh, 10 centimeters or 4 inches. And we've got 50 grams, 100 meters or 109 yards. So that's so why I had to get so many. They come in a small put up. I do believe that this should be plenty to make a top in my size and still have some room to swatch. Oh man, I'm so excited. This is, you know, when you order online, you're not quite sure what it's going to feel like. I am thoroughly impressed with the quality so far. I can't say 100% down the road what it's going to wear like because I've never worked with this yarn before. Um, because this is just a haul video, I don't plan on swatching any of these, but since I'm designing with them, you'll see me swatch and talk about and work with these yarns and I can give a better review once I've actually worked with the yarn. You can't really review a yarn when you first get it, right? So I just wanted to share everything that I got with you guys. Uh, let's see. Here's a recap. Oh, I am 
I'm thoroughly impressed. Of course, I'm happy because I, I went with wool and wool blends, and I knew that if I was going towards acrylic, I haven't really worked with a ton of acrylic in a while, so I wouldn't have a good gauge of of whether it's a good quality acrylic or not. I'd be mostly comparing it in my mind to wool, which you can't really compare acrylic to wool. So, but comparing the wools that I've been working with over the last, oh, I don't know, several years. <laughs> I mean, 2000, I think, 2016 is when I started primarily working with wool and wool blends. Um, and I've worked with a variety. This is on par with some of the top quality wools that I've worked with and I'm excited to try it out. What spawned me to purchase all this wool from Hobie? Well, as you know, I've been working on growing this YouTube channel and I noticed that Hobie had an opening for their affiliate program. So I was accepted into their program, which means if you follow one of my links and make a purchase, I will make a small commission on that. That being said, all of this yarn I bought with my money. They did not provide this as part of the affiliate ship. The affiliate is literally you guys using the link and making purchases and then I get a kickback. So what's awesome about that is I'm not paid to talk about this product. I'm not paid to share this product. I bought this product with my own money and all of my opinions about this yarn are 100% my own and not influenced in any way by being sponsored because I'm not sponsored. Instead, this is an affiliate ship program. So what I will not be doing as an affiliate partner with Hobie is sharing yarns I don't like. I don't have to do that. That's not part of it. I will be sharing the yarns that I do like. Also, if you're not a fan of affiliate links, you don't have to use the links. You can hear me talk about the yarn and decide like you want some of that too and not use my link and go buy it. But if you do decide to buy it and follow my link, I will get a small kickback and that helps me continue making videos and continue growing this channel and providing patterns and education and inspiration. That's my plan with this yarn is uh, to be able to hopefully provide these patterns to you for free and this is a way that I can fund free patterns. So if you're here for that and you're interested in this yarn, it would be helpful if you use my links but you don't have to. Um, so that is going to be my little spiel on that. I also have a disclaimer at the bottom under any of my affiliate links so you know that directly whether you're, you purchasing something kicks back to me or not. I want to be very clear and open about that. I don't want it to be weird. <laughs> I will always 100% be honest with you guys about whether I like something or not. I'm not in this to try to get you to buy stuff that I don't like. That is, that is not how I work. Absolutely not. I'm here to help you guys make things that you love with tools that you love, with supplies that you love. So I just wanted to have that spiel since this is the first time that I've ever become part of an affiliate program. Um, so yeah. With that said, look forward to some patterns using these yarns. I'm super excited about it, and I can't wait to share them with you guys, especially that cotton merino tee. I think that that yarn, where is it? That's not it. That's not it. It fell behind me. This yarn is the one that I'm the most excited to work with and try. I haven't worked with a yarn quite like this, and I'm in love with the color, and um, I think it will make a great basic top. So that is my full yarn haul from Hobie and I'm super excited to work with all of this. Again, I'll have everything linked below if you're interested in browsing these yarns or their website. And until next time guys, happy crafting!